I know it looks cool carrying a guitar case around, but it actually isn't. It gets in the way, you bump into things, and if you have to put it on a plane, who knows how it'll be at the other end. This could change a guitar into hand luggage. If you play the guitar professionally, or like me, you just jam with a mate, you have to lug one of these around. And that can be a real pain, especially when you've got to carry an amp too. Guitars are too big to take as hand luggage on a plane, and even on a bus you often need to leave them up front. If it's a favourite or a really expensive guitar, that's a real worry. My invention is the electric Nomad. It looks like a normal guitar. It sounds like a normal guitar. But this one's a little bit different. It's collapsible. To transport, you lift the lever to unlock the neck and slide it into the body. The strings wind up onto a metal coil and it all fits in a small carry-on size bag. And when you reach your destination, it only takes a few seconds and you're ready to rock and roll. Please welcome from Port Macquarie, Luke Klinkenberg and from Triple J and band Friends or Rom, The Doctor. Hi, Luke. Doctor, you thank you very much for coming in. Quite all right. Luke, because this, this, it looks snazzy, yeah, doesn't it? You. It looks snazzy. I know you spent a lot of time designing it. Up the top, you, there's little things that are different from a normal guitar, and down the bottom, there are. But it's kind of elegant. I think it looks unique and still keeps that flavour. Well, you may say that, but what does it sound like, Doctor? Can you rock out for us? This is, I believe, an original composition, especially for the new inventors. Absolutely. Right? Lovely. The Doctor. The concern, and we'll see how it folds away in a moment, the, the, the concern with folding guitars is that they do lose some sonics or sound. What's your uh, impression of the sound of that one? Well, I think the sustain's fine. Like, yeah. you could definitely go away and come back and it would still be going. Right. And, um, right. But really, for travelling guitarists, I mean, I've been held up at, uh, at immigration and had to pay exorbitant fees to try and get my guitar from place to place. So yes. if you could just chuck it in a backpack, brilliant. All right, Luke, so tell us, well, show us, really, how you, how you fold her up. This little handle there. Look at that beautiful little... Fl and there it goes! Isn't that fantastic? In the backpack. She goes. In the backpack. Away with the strap. And now can we use uh, the doctor as our model to show how elegantly and snugly it'll fit on your back. Just a normal back, no... Just, uh, yep, yeah. not a trick back. Yeah. Not a television back. <laughs> uh, a little spin, if you don't mind, doctor. And uh, one more. Look at that, it's so thin, isn't it? You would not believe I don't know. there is a guitar in there. <laughs> All right, take your amp and uh, looks like you got yourself a guitar, my friend. Thank you very much the doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Luke, here come with me. <laughs> uh, now, they are going to add, to my right, 250 bucks to the cost of whatever model of guitar decides to incorporate this feature into it. Is that right? That's right. We'll be about an extra $250 to have the retracting mechanism all inside it. If you were to say to anyone with that backpack on, there's a guitar in there, they'd just laugh at you. I mean, it's fantastic. Mm. Sally, what do you think? Yeah, Luke, this is a really beautiful piece of detailed design. I mean, I Thank love you. the retracting neck. That's really innovative. And the hardware is just outstanding quality. It feels really beautiful. So quick. Um, yeah, and it's, and, and, but the quality is fantastic too. How easy is it for a guitar maker to take your stuff and build it in without you hovering over them and well, telling them um, what to do? During the design process, I did take into consideration mass production. So a lot of it and the um, difficult parts will be taken care of by being produced through moulding and other processes. So it won't be a hard thing for them to add into their repertoire of guitars. They just need to order a new set of parts and it can all be assembled much the same as a normal guitar. 
That's terrific. I think the um, back-breaking question for me is, could it translate to a double bass or a cello? <laughs> yeah, there is thoughts of that. I'd like to um, adapt it to other instruments for sure. Or a piano, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what do you think? I think it's an ingenious design. When I look at the strings coming in and out like that, I'm wondering if the guitar holds any of its tune between when it's being extended and when it's being retracted and then extended again. It loses to be between a semitone to a tone worth of tune, so it's only minor tuning when you consider you're not going from a completely slack string. So right. if you pick up a guitar, you're going to have to tune it, particularly if you're going to perform. So it's only minor tuning, so it's never a problem. Chris. Um, Luke, I guess you're not the first person to come up with the idea of making a guitar collapsible. What have you kind of revolutionised to make yours so new and so special? The best one that's done it so far, the neck actually completely comes off. Um, one of the advantages that the Nomad has over this is that when you pack it away, you have this neck moving around next to the body of your guitar. It can damage the playing surface on the fingerboard. It can damage your guitar. Um, also, the strings hang out and they flop around in a manner that will scratch your guitar and damage it as well. So the mm -hmm. Nomad rolls up those strings and takes care of that problem. Mm -hmm. And also the neck is safely within the, bottle, uh, the body so that you don't have the fingerboard being damaged, which is one of the most important parts. That's where you're contacting and playing the guitar. Uh, Sally, something up? Well, a lot of the times when people try and make things that are foldable, they lose their aesthetic. And I think in this case, it's actually really giving it a look yeah. that really rocks it out. So. I think it's fantastic. I really do, yeah. Luke, you've created the transformer of guitars. Oh, uh, very well. <laughs> Chrissy? And, and the thing to remember, Luke, is that, that these musos, I mean, the reason the cello and the double bass still looks like it is is because they're very conservative thinkers. So if you've done something that will convince them that this is still their conservative instrument but has the convenience, I mean, I think you've definitely got a winner there. All definitely. I want to say to you is you rock. Please thank Luke <laughs> Klinkenberg. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.